In this video, we will learn about the decimal to binary conversion. This will be our first algorithm that we will explain and later implement. Specifically, we want to write a conversion that will accept a decimal integer and convert it into a binary string, representing the same number. We will first introduce the algorithm and its limitations. Then we'll work through a simple example by converting a specific decimal number. We will then walk through the pseudocode for the algorithm, and finally we'll present a slight variant of the same conversion. We want to keep things simple for our first section, so we will only deal with integers as floating point conversion is a bit more involved. It's important to note that most languages have built in functions to convert from one base to another. For example, in Scala, converting a decimal to binary can be done by running something like this. Here we have a non primitive Scala integer 183. The Scala class contains a two binary string function which does this operation for us. The idea is to try to implement this operation ourselves without using any inbuilt functions. First, let's work through an example. The technique is quite straightforward. We choose an integer that we need to convert, say 183, and we start by dividing it by 2. This results in 91 with a leftover of 1. We, cut, we pick up the result from the previous division and divide again. This time we get 4 to 5 with a remainder of 1. Note that since we are always dividing by 2, we can only have a leftover of 1 or 0. 4 to 5 divided by 2 gives us 22, and again a leftover of 1, and so on. When we finally get to 1, we do a final division, which gives us a leftover of 1. When the answer is 0, we stop. If we then read our remainder list from bottom to top, and place it in a string, we have our binary number. This is easy, right? We can call this algorithm divide by 2, and with a price for naming creativity. To implement the algorithm in an iterative way, it's also quite straightforward. We start by defining a function that takes x, our number, to convert. We initialize our binary string with an empty placeholder, and at the end we return it. We then create a loop that repeats as long as x is greater than 0. We use the modulus operator to give us the remainder and append it to the binary string. We also divide by 2 and assign it to x. Once x is 0, we exit the loop, we simply reverse the string, and then return it. As a variant of this, we can also make use of a stack. In the while loop, instead of appending the leftovers to a string, we can place them onto a stack. At the end of the loop, all we need to do is pop the entire stack onto a string, avoiding the need for reversing the string. As you can see, the iterative algorithms are pretty easy to follow. 